Good morning, it's Deacon Brian again. It's Monday, yep. It's starting off the week again. Got my cup of coffee. I hope you got yours, and uh, let's invite the Lord here, and let's see what is going to happen today. And it's Monday, and it's June uh, 20th. All right, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging that you may not be judged, for as you judge, you will be judged. And the measure in which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, Let me remove the splinter from your eye, while the wooden beam is in your eye. You hypocrite! Remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly. Be to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, Got a wonderful gospel here. And it's a good way to kick off off the week. You know, so often our egos are trying to protect us and trying to place us above others or whatever else. That's where judgments come from. It's our pride. It's our, you're trying to control the environment around us. What's really going on behind it? And that's up to us to figure that out. And again, so we need help with the Holy Spirit. So when I'm judging and I put out a judgment onto someone else, guess what happens? It comes back on me and I get judged from others. This is a spiritual law that actually happens and actually takes place. Make note of it. Make note of it when you hear false judgments going out on politicians. You you see it happen all the time, or, or, or politicians giving it to someone else, or they cancel culture, judging others. It's going to come back on them in a huge way. It may go out as a small thing, but when it comes back, it's big. And it will come back on you and trash you. Trust me, it will. And again, for all of us. So when you find yourself judging, you need to examine your own heart. Why? What are you protecting here? What are you fearful here? So just take a deep breath right now. And just ask, let's ask the Lord. Let's ask him to send the Holy Spirit. Remember, you want to take a deep breath, close, close your eyes, just breathe in nice and slow, and you're going to talk to that Christ who dwells within you. Not out here somewhere. Yeah, he does dwell out there. But this is where you want to speak. He's in you. So just take a deep breath in and ask him, is there anything that I've been judging? And Lord, if there is, let it bear no fruit. And let me wash me clean and help me, Lord. Send the Holy Spirit to give me the wisdom, understanding I need so that I can pluck the root of that judgment out of my heart so I can see things through your sacred heart. What we just did was powerful. And if you examine your heart and continue on a daily basis, all that stuff comes out. And again, And then you can be cleared out and see things more clearly through his eyes. As I say, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Hey, I'll see you next week. Enjoy this teaching and spend time with it. It'll make a huge difference in your life. God bless.